Who are you girls? We are Code, Code 3. 3. How old are you girls? I'm 14. I'm 14. And I'm 16. And what are your names? I'm Claudia. I'm Tag. And I'm Maria. <laughs> are you best friends? Yeah. We, yeah. Like, we love spending time together. And the fact that we get to dance together is just such... Especially okay. here. And who would you say that you looked up to or admired? Well, we look up to a lot of dance acts, obviously, and groups, Little Mix, Beyonce, all sorts of people. Girls, best of luck. Thank Bye. you. Love you. This was really, really good. And I think with some production around you, this could be amazing. <laughs> I wouldn't have danced in my pajamas, but that's just <laughs> a personal thing. But the talent is there. It's a yes! It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. Four yeses! You're through to it! What's your name? I'm Leah Barnival. Nice to meet you, Leah. How old are you? 14. 14? Yeah. So who have you brought along with you today? Um, my mum, my dad and my brother and my auntie, who are somewhere in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from Ireland. Is this your first time on a big stage? Um, well, I've been on a few stages, but nothing like this. What would it mean to you to win? It would mean so much. I wouldn't... I, I can't even imagine how much it would mean. Like, it would just be everything that I've wanted my whole life. Leah, do you think you could win the show? Um, I have as much chance as anybody else, but I think that there's always someone better than you. OK, well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you.
I thought that was honestly incredible. Thank you. Uh, and you're 14 years old, and you don't know how good you are. Thank you. Your stage presence was just fantastic. Controlled and beautiful. Loved it. <laughs> it's such a complicated song, and your Italian was impeccable. It was a flawless audition. Um, OK, we're going to take a vote now. David? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I think you are amazing. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Yes from me? Thank you. A billion percent yes. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah, what's your name? My name's Leon. Hey, Leon. How old are you? I'm um, 13. 13. <laughs> OK. So tell me what the big, big, big dream is, Leon. Well, one of them is to win it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then? Hopefully I can get a golden buzzer. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> got um, plans. Well, Leon, the stage is yours. Good luck. Thank you. Go on, Leon. Go on, Sam. Go on. I noticed you in the act. <laughs> That's very nice of you to put my little face on your T-shirt. Of course, you're my inspiration. Oh, oh. oh you're proud of it. Like <laughs> Bruno, yes or no? Yes, yes, yes. Alicia. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. Everyone's saying yes. Four <laughs> yes. Today, I'm going to take you back, way back. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, you cry all the time. Well, you ain't never heard a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Susan Boyle, and that's just one side of me. <laughs> Hello, you used to call me on my cell phone.
Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. What's your name? My name's Jamie. And Jamie, where are you from? Uh, St. Helens. And who have you brought with you? This is Chuck. Yeah, I'm Chuck. OK. <laughs> how old are you? Uh, I'm 13. 13. So how long have you been doing this? Two years now. Wow. Just uh, the first lockdown. We're here in the home of entertainment. So this is a big moment and we are all rooting for you. So take it away. Thank you. Thank you. Say hello, Chuck. Hello, Chuck. <laughs> no, I mean say hello as in say hello to the audience. No, I mean say hello as in say hello to the audience. <laughs> He's good, isn't he? Yeah. I suppose you find that funny. Yeah, I'm a Kennedy hen. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. You said it. <laughs> It's all about having a laugh, isn't it? Where would you be without a laugh, eh, Chuck? Sat in David's seat. <laughs> My friend Chuck here is very clever. So, Chuck, I'd like to hear you say, Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers, Peter Piper picked. So would I. <laughs> These two, they're good. You're such a good friend. Thanks, Chuck. Here's a kiss. Stop it. <laughs> like the wall, paper sticks to the wall. Like the seashore clings to the sea. Like you'll never carry the your shadow. Chuck, you'll never get rid of me. Before we get finished, we'll make the town ball. Oh, yeah. Man. You have an incredible talent, not just for ventriloquism, but to entertain people. I just thought that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I absolutely loved that. It was so slick. All the while thinking, I cannot believe you are 13 years old. It was very, very funny, and Chuck is very, very naughty, and I love Chuck's sense of humour. Hi, Chucky. Did you think it went well? Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel nervous before? No, I was excited. He was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you absolutely smashed that. And, Chucky, I think you've got a future. Thanks. I always believe you've got to believe that what you're holding is real, and I did. David, yes or no? Oh, an incredibly easy yes. I'm saying yes. I'm going to try something. Hang on. Come here, Amanda. Three yeses from me. <laughs> and that's Amanda, and now you've got four yeses from me. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? My name's Eva. Feeling nervous? No. Oh, good girl. <laughs> oh, I love that. How old are you? I'm 40. Have you brought anyone with you today? Yes, I've brought my uncles, my aunties, my dad, my mum, my brothers, and my best friend, Minnie. Thank you. Well, we can't wait to see you perform. I can't wait. Go for it. Thank you. Hi everybody, my name is Eva. Now, before I start, I would like to apologise if you can't understand me. I got a disability called cerebral palsy 
I'm done from the black country. <laughs> <laughs> so if it's easier, wait until you get home and re-watch me with the subtitles on. <laughs> <laughs> My full medical diagnosis is spastic ataxic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. Really? <laughs> I have enough trouble asking Alexa a question. <laughs> and they expect me to say that. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's very good. That's so funny. People always feel sorry for me when I tell them about my disability. But they're like, well, my mum's ginger. But that bold. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had a bit of hard time at school. So now I get homeschooled. My daily day consists period one English, period two homes under the hammers, <laughs> period three Loose women. <laughs> so who's laughing now? <laughs> when you're disabled, people are like, you can do anything you want in life. Nothing can stop you. Well, yeah, but to a degree. I mean, who would want someone like me with tremors to perform life-saving heart surgery on them? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, here, who want me to give him a new haircut? <laughs> Thank you, you've been brilliant, and I've been Eva. Comedy is the hardest thing that's uh, ever. We always say that on Britain's Got Talent Thank because you. the reaction is immediate. You're either yeah. funny or you're not funny. So you immediately won us over. Your timing was fantastic. You're so vivacious and charismatic. It's so relaxing to watch you. I felt completely entertained Thank from you so start much. to finish. And your Thank mum and dad, it's just so good. <laughs> Yeah, you are brilliantly funny. Every single line was an absolute zinger. Thank you. And I think to be a successful comedian, part of it is being memorable, and you're very memorable. But most of all, it was hilarious. Thank you. You are fearless, and people are going to love you. Okay. They really are. Thank you. We're meeting the most incredible people this year, like you, Thanks. who are just brilliant. And I think you are one to beat now, Eva. I love you. Thank you. I bet your friends just love hanging out with you because you've got the coolest personality. You're just a lovely, lovely person. And I hope this is the beginning of something amazing for you. OK, bye. Well, I'm going to kick this off with a big yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. It's a gigantic yes from me. What's your name? Uh, my name's Ella Shaw. Hello, Ella Shaw. How old are you? I'm 18. Do you write your own stuff? 
Yeah, I'm going to sing one of my own songs for you today called Summertime. Summertime. What's the song about? It's about summer without somebody, but how it's still a happy time of the year. OK, brilliant. Good luck. Thank you. Baby girl. Summertime is creeping in through my window. The sun really shines is melting all my cold and cares away. So maybe this year my As they figure out what it is they should say Time for romancing, slow dancing, enhancing the glances Oh baby, what a ball What's your names? I'm Grace. And I'm Ali. OK, and what's the name of the act? Grace and Ali. <laughs> <laughs> and how old are you both? Um, I'm 17. And I'm 16. Where are you both from? I'm from Middlesbrough. Hartlepool. How did you two meet? We went to college to do performing arts, and we met there. And? We had to do a dance duet in our show. Yeah. <laughs> and... Things kind of went on from there. What do you mean? Well, it's official. <laughs> <laughs> so you fell in love whilst you were dancing together? Yeah. Aww. And who came up with the choreography? Us two. You two? Yeah. Good. OK, well, I hope it goes well. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you.
Something always brings me back to you It never takes too long I love that. Really nice, that. Really nice. Thank you very much, guys. Let me go to Alicia. You are two of the most talented dancers we have seen by a clear mile. You are absolutely stunning together to watch. <laughs> Skill level was insane. You were so in sync, you told a brilliant story. I was in awe of your talent. Thank you. The choreography was stunning. It was absolutely perfect. It was really, really moving, and I can't believe how young you both are. It's incredible. You obviously are amazingly talented, and the song choice was sensational. Look, we're going to vote now. David. I'm going to say yes. Alicia. It's a yes from me. Amanda. Yes from me. You got four yeses. Congratulations. Here we are. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Britain's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name? My name is Serene. How old are you? I'm 14. 14? Yes. And whereabouts are you from? I'm from London. Okay. <laughs> have you told your friends at school you're here today? No, they have no idea I'm here. <laughs> right, okay. So who's here with you today? My grandfather, my two aunties, my uncle, my cousin, my brother, and my parents. <laughs> A nice mix. <laughs> It's me. <laughs> it's the entire audience. <laughs> it is the entire audience. Yes. I like that. Is there anything else you want to tell us about you, yourself? Um, so I guess it's pretty obvious that I can't see. Uh, there was a time where I could, and now I can't. But I guess music is my vision, and that's just what I live by, and music is my thing. Good for you. <laughs> well... We're all rooting for you, and I know everyone at home is going to be rooting for you too, so in your own time, Serene. Thank you. Hi, Miss Hare. That was good. Well done. Okay. There you are. Good luck, Serene. Oh, dear. Easy.
couldn't see was the whole of the Palladium on their feet applauding you <laughs> because they love you. <laughs> Alicia. Oh, what a sweet, sweet girl you are. My heart is just melted. Thank you. I, you're so nervous, but that's completely understandable. It's a massive deal. It's a massive stage and you sang beautifully. <laughs> I just found the entire audition so poignant. You're just so beautiful and vivacious. You kind of just exude lightness. Oh my gosh, it thank was, you. It was just brilliant. Thank you. Um, Serene, um, were you nervous because you thought you're going to get bad comments? Have people criticised you in the past? I, d I only do school performances, so this is something completely new. And being able to sing right now is just such a big opportunity, and I don't want to waste it. Good for you. I think I should be the first person to say yes. It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. And it's a yes from me. Well done, Serene. Yes. yes. Well, I could open. Hello. Hi. Well, that was a good reaction. You haven't even done anything yeah. yet. <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. Just give me your names and ages, starting with you, please. I'm Jacob. I'm 14 years old. OK. I'm Noah, and I'm 15. Good. I'm Tom. I'm 15. Good. I'm Jake, and I'm 15. OK, so I'm guessing you are a band? Yeah. Yes. Got it. OK, what are you called? Chapter 13. Who put you together, or did you put yourself together? We were all in School of Rock, uh, the musical, together. Oh, OK. Saw. Whose idea was it for you to be your own band? Um, well, me and Noah shared a room. Um, yeah. We all just always just sort of imagining, you know, what it would be like to be in a band, and then we'd start talking to these two, and then... Good for you. <laughs> OK, well, listen, good luck. Hope this goes great. Thank you very much. Thank you. They look great, don't they?
I honestly can say that I don't think I've ever seen four young musicians so together. The drummer, you were amazing. The guitar playing was spot on. Some of the faces you were pulling were fantastic, you especially. I just think you are absolutely incredible, and now you've just got to win the whole show. I just turned 14 years old on Tuesday. Oh, look at you, okay, okay. so cute. Happy birthday. I think you're a magician. Yes, I am. Nice. <laughs> Jasper, who have you brought with you? I've got my mum and my sister Izzy. Oh. <laughs> Jasper, what would it mean to you to win Brent's Oh, it'd be amazing. I'd love to perform for the royal family and, well, the money would be great as well. <laughs> <laughs> Jasper, we are all rooting for you. Take a deep breath and show us what you can do. Thank you. Thanks. Sam, I'm sure by now, well, you must be absolutely sick to death of card tricks. Like, you won't want to see one at all for the rest of your life. How did you know that? I've got friends. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I'm simply taking a red handkerchief I'm pushing it into my fist. I'm then gonna snap my fingers and show, look, it's turned into an egg, and the handkerchief is back in my fist. Your brother's magic! Now, today, I actually thought it'd be fun to teach you this trick. Everything isn't quite as it seems, because look, there's a hole in the back of the egg, and that's where I've hidden another handkerchief. <laughs> it's that simple. David, are you with me still? Yes. Yes, good. Right, OK. <laughs> so here's the setup. Take out your red handkerchief and you simply say you're going to push it into your fist. But what the audience don't know is that it's actually going into the hole. Right? So then you snap your fingers and you show, look, it's an egg and the handkerchief is back in your pocket. The one thing that you have to remember to do is not show this side of the egg. It'll completely ruin the trick and the magician, well, it'd look like a bit of a fool, really. Unless, of course, you're a real magician. Oh. And you can simply remove the hole. Jasper, that was fantastic. So original. We've never seen it presented like that. And none of this phased you, which is incredible. You are a little star. <laughs> what did you think of I think you really stand out because you presented it in a completely unique way. You do have magic powers. Well done, Jasper. I just felt completely relaxed. You were charming, you were witty, you were cool. I mean, you ticked every single box and you were only 14. It was an amazing audition. That really Thank good. 14, still. I think we're what was really cool. How old are you? 14! <laughs> <laughs> he said he was 14, she said he was 14, he's 14. <laughs> he turned 14 on Tuesday. <laughs> he's still 14. <laughs> 
So just to be clear, you're 14. 14. Yes. <laughs> OK, so that makes it even better. You, young man, have got a huge future ahead of you, I think. Thank you. I do. <laughs> hey, let's go, Simon. Yeah, I'm going to say yes. It's a yes for me, Jessica. It's a yes for me. Four yeses, Jasper. Well done. Hello. Who are you, please? I'm Sean Smith. And what's your act, Sean? I'm singing. OK, and what's your ambition? To sell records, to win to this... To make other people happy. Right through singing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to do with the money, Sean. Pardon? Nothing to do with the money? Oh, I could do with a new car. <laughs> you know. OK, when you're ready. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone It's not warm when she's away Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Cause she's always gone to a long Anytime she goes away Wonder this time where she's gone if she's gonna stay Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Cause this house just ain't no home Anytime she goes away And I know, 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 I know When she's gone Ain't no sunshine when she's gone Cause she's always gone to a long Anytime she goes away Anytime she goes away Anytime she goes away Uh, I genuinely wasn't expecting that. Uh, I tell you who you reminded me of is Mick Hucknall, but good looking. <laughs> <laughs> good job you added that on the end. And a personality. <laughs> Actually, I have to say, you've got a very, very authentic sounding voice yeah. as well. Yeah. And you didn't make that sound karaoke. I think you're really good. Thank you. Well, I've got to say, I thought you were really very, very good. Yeah, so did I. My only criticism is, you know, take your hand out your pocket, believe in yourself. Oh, for God's sake. No, because his body language is saying, I'm crap. Oh, Amanda, and his voice is saying, him, I'm brilliant. I am saying, believe in yourself no, because of, you're good. Your no, body language is saying appeal. something else. That's part of his appeal. Arguing again. Simon, yes or no? Frank Sinatra was up there now. You'd be, I don't like your tie. <laughs> It's a yes. Yeah. <laughs> Definite yes from me. <laughs> Let's make it three yeses. And it's a yes from me, Sean. <laughs> Can I ask a question? What are you going to sing? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> oh, We're yeah. a dance crew. What? We're a dance act. Is this serious? No, yeah, yeah, yes, very serious. Honestly? Yes. yes. OK. And you think you can win this? Yeah. like to think so. Show us what you can do. Good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Come on, boy band. Let's lift this roof.
What's your name? Jody. How old are you, Jody? I was 16 last week. Oh, happy birthday. Sweet 16. Who have you brought with you? I brought my mum and my dad. I presume you're going to sing. I am. When was the first time you sang? Ever since I was little, and it's all I've ever wanted to do. And what are you singing today? I'm going to be singing Don't Rain on My Parade. Ooh! I love musicals. What would you like from Britain's Got Talent? I've always wanted to perform and to do what I love. It would just be amazing. OK, good luck. I can't listen to that. No! Can I hear something a little less smiley and just a better song? What else have you got? Jodie, I love that song and I was really enjoying that. I think it's a shame Simon cut that short because terrible I think... Terrible shame. It is a terrible shame, my dear, thank you. There is much more to that song. Can't we finish? I, I honestly, I'm sorry, but I want to be able to hear her sing the whole thing. Can't we finish it? It's still not at all. You're going to sing your first song again. Yes, please. Thank you. Loved it. Um, you know, and it's great to have lots of different musical styles on the show. You came out with a lot of determination, really won us over, and that's what we're looking for. Someone with passion and someone who wants to win, and I really got that from you. Thank you. I really like you, Jodie. That song is full of personality, so really well done. I bloody loved it, Jodie. Wow, thank you. 
What I really admire is how you dealt so brilliantly with, with the critique and everything. You came back so much stronger. You f***ed all over Simon's parade. <laughs> you need to have a strong backbone in musical theatre, and I think you're made of titanium, and I think you did brilliantly well. Thank you, that means a lot. <laughs> Simon. Uh, yeah, I may have acted a little bit prematurely there. <laughs> I have to say, Jodie, I'm not crazy about those songs, and I did cut you off too short, and I apologise. <laughs> you got back into it. Actually, no, I'm glad I did that, actually, because you proved a point. Because you actually sang <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's true, because you came back with, with more excitement, more determination, and I kind of did it on purpose, now I'm thinking about yeah. it. <laughs> you always knew this was going to happen, didn't you? I always knew this was going to happen, and sometimes you've got to push people a little bit. Yeah. So I'm actually taking credit for that performance. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, we have to take a vote, Jody. David. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Alicia. I'm going to say yes. Amanda. Obviously, it's a yes from me. And I am going to say... Yes. yes. <laughs> How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 13 years old and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. OK. <laughs> oh, my gosh. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then... I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Oh, please be good.
Malachi. Oh. Come here, please. Oh. Is there any one word I could use to describe that? Golden. Totally flawless, very composed. I looked over at your mum and sister. And they were in bits, so you did, you did yourself so proud, it was beautiful. I don't know what you're channeling, but whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a, a trance. I agree. It was like being in heaven. I was in tears because you really touched me and it's very simple. You sang like an angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this show. Oh. Really, that means a lot. Thank you. Magic is all about mystery. And this right here is what we consider to be the biggest mystery of all. David. Hello. Hello. You have a part in this mystery, and your part is to choose a playing card. First of all, all the cards are different. Mm. I'm going to place a rubber band around the cards like this. All I want you to do is open up wherever you like, like this, Place a card in your hands. Oh, hello, we missed hello. you. <laughs> so just place your hand out for me. That's all right. And then look at the card you've chosen. Have you got it? Yes. Thank you. Alicia. Hey. Over here, I have a pack of cards. You can see all of the cards are completely different. You're going to cut the cards to wherever you would like into the pack. Okay. Okay. Have a look at the card that you've just cut to, just on the bottom, and place the cards back. Thank you. Amanda, I too have a deck of cards here, and as I drop cards to the table, all I'd like you to do is just call the word stop for me any way you like. Stop. This next card is going to be yours. Please show everybody, but don't let me see. Finally, Simon, as I run my finger down the side of the deck, I'd also like you to tell me stop. Stop. Please. Right here, yeah? Yeah. So, Simon, the exact position you told me stop at was, in fact, on the seven of clubs. Now, I'll leave the seven down there, but before we go any further, you could have stopped me on any one of the cards, correct? Yeah. Lovely. David. Yes. Just a moment ago, you randomly selected one of these cards. Correct. But I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I could make your card fade away? You look a little bit confused. But I, I am, generally. <laughs> 
but I'm not just going to make one card fade away. I'm going to make 51 cards fade away, leaving only one card that still exists. David, for the first time, please say your card out loud. The Two of Diamonds. Ladies and gentlemen, the Two of Diamonds. Alicia, I knew exactly what card you were going to choose. Really? You see, no other card has a message except for this one. For the first time, what is the card that you're thinking of? Seven of Diamonds. The Seven of Diamonds. Thank you. Every time that I do this, people tend to think that I'm using sleight of hand. What I'm going to do is place all of the cards inside of the box, and now there's no way I can manipulate anything here aside from the card on the table. Mm -hmm. So if you have that card firmly in your mind, I'm going to take it back from you. And bearing in mind I haven't seen it, I'm going to slide it amongst the other 51 cards inside the pack and then seal it up. I'm going to place all of the cards into your palm, and one by one by one, I want you to picture them start to leave the box. In fact, you should be able to feel the box becoming lighter and lighter and lighter until it feels as if there could only be one card in there. Amanda, what would you do if I told you that this wasn't just your imagination and there genuinely was only one card with every other single card now having left the box? Amanda, you have one card in your mind. Would you please announce it out loud? It was the King of Clubs. Looks like we have a perfect match. Now, Simon, before any of this began, James mentioned a mystery. The mystery is, in fact, a sealed deck of cards within a glass bottle. You'll notice one difference between the deck and the bottle and the deck we've been using here tonight, and that is the cards in the bottle have a gold back. The cards we've been using over here tonight are red back. But watch closely, guys, because you're not going to believe this. All right. Simon, if I'm now holding the seven of clubs, but that comes from that deck, then where is the card you just selected from this deck actually gone? We can't have gone from there to there, can it? <laughs> James? We have no idea, genuinely, how this deck of cards got inside the bottle. But we know that there is only one way to get it out. David, mm. watch out. <laughs> and as you can all see, the deck is wrapped in cellophane. And it is completely sealed. Every single card is present, including the jokers. Now, guys, you can see the deck is in perfect order. Every single card from ace through to king being in the right place. The deck is perfect in every way. Apart from one. Come on. Now, everyone in here is thinking the same thing. Can that possibly be your card? No. Simon, for the first time, can you slide the card towards yourself? And if that is your card, the seven of clubs, can you please hold it high above your head for everyone to see? It is. But wait! Stop! Stop! <laughs> this was always meant to be. In actual fact, Simon, you chose the seven of clubs. Amanda, you oh, chose the king God. of clubs. Oh. Alicia, you chose the seven of diamonds. And David, you chose the two <laughs> of diamonds. <laughs> My darling, what's your name and where you come from? I'm Liliana, I'm from Liverpool. I'm 13. What do you do, my darling? I'm a dancer. Oh, you're a dancer? I love dancing. I started dancing when I was four, and ever since I just fell in love with it. Is there anyone here tonight to support you? Uh, my mom and my dad as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it, don't you? Let's go. Okay, come on, let's see a bit of dancing. Thank you. So 
silence Waiting for the sirens Signs, any signs I'm alive still I don't wanna lose it I'm not getting through this Hey, should I pray? Should I pray? Yeah. To myself, to a God Too late to build it back Cause a one in a million chance is still a chance Still a chance And I would say those are You can say what you like This is all I got for you I'm down on my knees And I need you to be my God Be my help Performance. <laughs> You're right now. Yeah, 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 no. You can breathe now. now. You're a dramatic actress as well as a fantastic dancer. I saw some excellent ballet steps and the gymnastic were out of this world. <laughs> Alicia. Where does all that passion come from? Technically, I haven't seen anything like that for a long, long time. <laughs> I was, I'm quite speechless, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. You were like the speed of a hummingbird. I mean, it just looked incredible. Thank you. So, Liliana, what do you see in your head in five years' time? I see me training in Cirque du Soleil, touring across the world. Got it. Got it. Got it. If you have a chance, you can tell you have put in the work. If I could score this, it would be a 10. Yes. Oh. Can I be the first to say yes? It's a yes from me. It's a yes from me. It is a yes from me. Thank you. She's unbelievable. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too good. bad. Good. Now tell me something about you. So let's start with your name. Uh, I'm, my name is Rhino Sharknessy. I'm 19. I'm from Dublin. Okay. And I'm a songwriter. So, Ryan, is this something you do full time? No, I'm actually in college at the moment. I'm studying it, so it's something I want to do full time. Okay, and, and we're going to hear one of your own songs today? Uh, yeah, I'm playing my own song, yeah. What's it called? It's called No Name. And what's the inspiration behind this song? It was about a friend of mine that I've liked for a few years now, so... So it was, a, it was like a love letter? Close to it, yeah. And has she responded to this? Um, she hasn't heard it yet, so... What's her name? Oh, I, oh. <laughs> her full name. Kind of in this now with both feet, so you might as well reveal. Uh, her name is. Uh, her name is. No, I, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. It won't come out. It won't come out. Well, give me the first letter. <sighs> it's, it's, uh... Don't you don't have to. Don't do it. <laughs> no, I, I. I. I really can't say it. All right, Ryan. Well, look, best of luck, and I hope this works. Thanks very much. Every now and then I see a 
part of you I've never seen Birds can swim and fish can fly The road is long, no wonder why One of these days you'll realize What you mean to me Oh, every now and then I see a part of you I've never seen I really like it It's good, isn't it? Yeah Well, I try to talk, but I can't my soul is turned to steel This happens every now and then When I try to tell you just how I feel So if you ever love somebody You gotta keep them close When you lose grip of them Cause I'm falling Deeper in love In love Deeper in love In love Beautiful songs I've ever heard, sung incredibly well. It was absolutely astonishing. Well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Ryan, that was really sweet and sincere. I just really enjoyed it. And I felt it. It was very lovely. Well done. Thank you very much. Have you played her that song? No. <laughs> so this is the first time she's ever going to hear it? Yeah. Wow. If that doesn't work, nothing will. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want to give me the name? I'm sure. But she's going to know when she watches this, I presume. Oh, yeah, she'll definitely know. Oh, that's even more romantic. <laughs> she'll know. I think you've got a brilliant sense of melody. I think your lyrics are superb. And I love your voice. I think you're great. Thank you very really good. I appreciate it. OK, we're going to vote. David, yes or no? Easiest decision I've ever had to make, yes. I'd love to hear you sing again. It's a yes from me. Ryan, I think good things are going to happen on the back of this audition. You're through to the next round, three yes. Jasmine Elcock. Jasmine, how old are you? Um, I've turned 14 two days ago. Oh, happy Aww. birthday! Thank you. Who have you brought with you? Um, I've got my dad with me here today and my mum. Brilliant. Well, this is two minutes that could really change everything, so good Thank luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. After all that's said and done 
Oh, she deserved that. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know what? I was at one point losing the will to live, thinking maybe all the talent has gone. And now you come back, little thing, with such a great voice, so charming. And let me tell you, I think this country is going to totally fall in love with you. For so many reasons, that audition moved me so much. I've never been this much of a mess on the show. <laughs> Literally, oh my goodness. I hope all your dreams come true. You deserve it. You really do. Oh, look at Alicia. Well done, guys. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Jack. 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 Carol. And how old are you? 14. 14 years. And tell me a little bit more about you. Uh, I'm a professional gymnast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, best of luck. All right, cheers. <laughs> Don't worry, I know what you're thinking. Harry Potter's had a nasty Quidditch accident. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I can't stand? Sorry, sorry, let me re-emphasise. Do you know what I can't stand? <laughs> <laughs> but look on the bright side. I've never had to queue at Disneyland. <laughs> <laughs> now, just, I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there. If I do get too energetic, Please stop me. I want to keep my benefits. <laughs> well, otherwise, otherwise, how would I heat the jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a pool. 
I was, uh, I was at the uh, cinema seeing the new James Bond film the other day, and uh, it got me thinking, you know, maybe I would have liked to have had a go, you know, being James Bond, but obviously I'm a bit inhibited. Ah, Mr. Bond, I've been expecting you. <laughs> <coughs> no lift. <laughs> um, but this isn't the first Britain's Got Talent event I've been to. I was actually uh, at the live tour in Manchester, funnily enough, two years ago. And the staff, they couldn't have been more helpful, moving people out the way, getting us to a seat. And then when we finally got there, the view was just fantastic. And we sat down and my sister, she tapped me on the shoulder, turned around, and I'll never forget this as long as I live. She said, Jack, we are so lucky you're disabled. <laughs> you cannot take her anywhere. <laughs> Thank you very much, I've been Jack Carroll, goodbye. Uh, I'm going to have to go to David first of all. Jack, you are a comedy genius. Thank you. I wasn't as funny as you are 14 years I'm not even as funny now as you are at 14 years old. It was incredible. Every joke was a winner. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Jack, you made me laugh before the act even started. And I know, me... I've got a funny face. No, you just... <laughs> <laughs> um, Jack... The thing that's, that's great is you're, nobody feels sorry for you. You're self-deprecating, you're hilarious, and I think you've got a huge future. Well, I, I've got to tell you, Jack, you've got one of the most refreshing attitudes. You made fun, you know, of what you've gone through, um, and you made it funny, which is really, really difficult. You've just got an incredible personality. And I'm really happy that I met you. Thank you. Come oh, on, four yeses. OK, David, yes or no? It's a gigantic yes. Alicia. 100% yes. Amanda. Yes for me, Jack. Thank you. Jack, you have. I think you know what's coming. Four yeses. <laughs> Dream about a fellow judge. Oh, that's a good question. I can't remember. <laughs> Who was it and what was it about, I David? I can't remember. Um, it, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a very erotic dream um, <laughs> that can't really be spoken about. Okay, like, I actually have, have had an erotic dream about one of the judges, but I won't say it is because it's embarrassing. And you know, it's weird, isn't it, when you sometimes have an erotic dream about someone, <laughs> you don't know why you're having it. You so go, why am I thinking about them in this way? Simon seems to think it's Alicia. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> is it true? <laughs> All I'll say is it's one of the male judges. <laughs> why are people so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent? Amanda Holden's been on it for years. and deck backstage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! Simon is head judge, but out of the three of you, who would you say is his deputy? Out of the three, who's the deputy judge? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, mate. 
Right, Simon, do you have your answer ready? Yeah, I do. Good stuff. OK, Amanda first. Oh, you're going for yourself. Yes. Alicia, you're going for yourself as well. <laughs> Here we go. David's just finished. He's gone for Amanda because... Oh, David. <laughs> oh, my God, you can't write that. <laughs> You've actually crossed the line. <laughs> Good. Christopher's upstairs. David, who... <laughs> Simon... Hey. Who's the... Who really are? A smutty little man. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get out. <laughs> well, if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel... Oh, hello, hello, hello. Which one is your favourite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Ooh, in America. In America, right? yeah. You start. don't mean that disrespectfully. No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> <laughs> She's thick as pig shit. <laughs> now, now, he, now he can't be sat here to say anything he wants. He's he's saying, he's he's said he'll be out of control now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> we open our minds, OK? I think the problem is internet keeps us in algorithms and echo chambers, so you're only surrounded by people who agree with you. So I advise if you're right-wing, get left-wing friends. If you're left-wing, get right-wing friends. If you're middle-class, get working-class friends. And if you're vegan, get friends. <laughs> I'm just joking. I don't want to offend any vegans. I understand that you guys can't have friends. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm making fun of vegans because they're the only group of people that will not threaten me. <laughs> me is neither, guys. But in all honesty, uh, news, we're breaking boundaries every day with this show and in business, right? Two Muslim men just bought Asda, and people on Twitter have gone mad. I go into a debate about it, I try to tell someone, they're like, no, you don't talk to me, you muzzy. <laughs> to be honest, muzzy isn't even offensive, it's actually kind of cute. <laughs> it sounds like something you buy your kids, like, oh, look, Darren, look what we got you, we got you a little muzzy. <laughs> let's feed it, Darren, let's feed it. Oh, no, he will eat, it's Ramadan. <laughs> So the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know. Oh, good oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> 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 don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do we know? I, I, like you, I like your baby. Is it time for uh, you're, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two year extension. I would like. It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, oh, we're look. not. We're not after no. the watershed. I would like to okay. see David. inside <laughs> his house. Oh, he's no. never invited. These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see his. <laughs> homosexual spending. David Wallums is obsessed with his heterosexual pretending. <laughs> so, um, in, 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 in fact, uh, after last time, I'm not sure how you behave. Go on, David, give me a wave. Before you waved, it was a maybe. But with that hand action, you actually outgave me. Um, <laughs> Donald Trump is obsessed with his ridiculous hairdo. Amanda Holden is obsessed at trying to look young. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Like, 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 like she used to. Any, um, no, 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 it's, it's not the truth. It's just in that chair as I find you. That chair is sort of reflecting your younger years. It, it, it's behind you. Um, <laughs> three things that you love about yourself. Um, Humility, uh, yes, uh, charm, humble good looks, humility, generous. Uh, I like people, I wear great clothes, I'm funny, um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. Um, great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys, I like girls, I like animals. I know you do! <laughs> Let's replay that clip again. <laughs> we have evidence! 
ladies and gentlemen. I like girls. I like guys. Thank you. <laughs> you finally said it. And you like animals as well? We're not going there. David. Wait. No. <laughs> No. Yeah, but I, I have a gift for you. What? Oh, you know who it is. Oh. But uh, thank you, thank you so much for having me on your show, and uh, I have a little gift. What's that? for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the front. My fiance been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How are you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, understands your flaws, and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. <laughs> That's the trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. <laughs> I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I didn't know I didn't want to come home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> I did tell you what time I was coming home, and you said, well, make sure you come back at a decent time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face, get out of my face. I say, all right, I'll get out of your face, but how do I do it? In style. You know what he is, and it's, it's interesting, and it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people, more than any other star I've ever seen. Come here with an hour for that. Nice job. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> you know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. No, I It just doesn't feel comfortable. Well, 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 would you feel more comfortable if you gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Come on. Hug it out. Come on. give me a hug. Hug, hug it out. Me. That's no, no, it. No, come on, give me a hug. Come, come on. on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. No, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. The best thing about being you. Well, it's cat, right? It's yeah, cat. hi. When I was uh, at school and I was very bored. Briefly. Yeah, briefly, yeah. <laughs> I kind of thought, hopefully when I'm older, I can do a job where I have fun and I don't have horrible bosses. And now I have a job which is honestly the most fun in the world. Uh, so and you are the horrible boss. <laughs> and I'm the horrible boss. <laughs> 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 
danger. Here we go, a bit of danger for you. Bowling ball juggling. It's been a while since I've done this. Been practicing during lockdown. Here we go. Silence, please. It's very dangerous. Very... Round the back, round the back. <laughs> You're laughing up, police. You said the... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's very funny, Amanda. Very funny, Alicia. <laughs> Lovely. I'll tell you what, it's lucky that gas mat were there. If I'd fallen off over there, I could have properly let myself. <laughs> tick time, tick time. Unbelievable, this is madness. I'm sorry, I'm running behind now. I've been told I've got to speed up. Now, normally, this part of the act takes about 15 minutes of... It's just jokes for 15 minutes. So what I'll do, it, I'll do it very, very quickly. Basically, 15 minutes of gags in 15 seconds. <sighs> I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> and today... We're going to be health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs and do some squats. <laughs> <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> It's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me shine rain. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on uh, Go Out of the Jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, whoa. And then, I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And, like, and then I was being sick everywhere. There have been a lot of good magic acts on the show so far, but don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great what question. What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, is not he? My goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is, it is magic. He is, it's fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's Simon Cow! Every time he walks <laughs> It's the weirdest thing. Do you, that's, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> It's playing the piano. It's playing jazz. He's <laughs> 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 playing the piano. Thank God we got that. Thank you, thank you so much. Well, you would hear, because I've got African parents, so my dad would shout like, Kujo, come here. <laughs> now, Michael always had a confrontation with my dad. He was like, coach, 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 what's going on, mate? <laughs> the coach, you're a big man, you're 11. <laughs> you go in there and you tell him that this enough's enough. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there was a little part of me that believed in Michael's spirit. <laughs> but then I remembered he don't live in my house. <laughs> so I turned to my dad, I said, dad, what's up? Go to the store and get me Ribena. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is all I said. Dad! <laughs> Can't you get it yourself? <laughs> it was 1 p.m., but it got dark real quick. <laughs> the pigeons weren't even flying anymore. They came down to warn me. <laughs> <laughs> I realised I'd never be able to talk again. I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> 4 is the 1252 yeah. service to London Kings Cross. <laughs> and 
from my time at the post office. Please go to cashier number eight. <laughs> Married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always get, you are so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> uh, I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. <laughs> I took a stereo, left a Walkman. <laughs> took a plasma screen, left an Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> <laughs>